How's it everybody? Another ratio video here. So the information relates to two companies and we're looking at liquidity and a financing strategy specifically in this video. It is a pretty huge question, so I have broken it up quite a bit. So identify the company that is managing its working capital well and quote two financial indicators. So this is basically Guardian versus Navara. Guardian, there we go, let me just do that instead, versus Navara. So Guardian, when we discuss liquidity, we're looking at, well, four ratios in particular, the current ratio, the asset test ratio, the debtor's collection period, and the creditor's payment period. So let's take a look at that. Current ratio improved from 1.5 to 1.7. That is really good. The asset test ratio, it's also improved from 1.0 to 1.2. That is stunning. The debtor's collection period from 22 days to 19 days. So we're collecting money that is owed to us a lot better. And the creditor's payment period increased as well. So we're taking a little bit longer to repay our creditors. But yeah, this is good. These are very positive signs. And now let's take a good look at Navara. Oh my goodness, that highlighting is terrible. I'm so sorry. Uh, their current ratio decreased. That is bad. We want higher ratios. Remember our current ratio, two is to one is the norm and asset test ratio, one is to one is the norm. We don't want to deviate too far away from the norm, but the sudden decrease, yeah, that's that's not looking good. We want that to be two to one. Asset test ratio, 1,4 to 1 to 0, 0,2 to 1, yeah, it's it's looking hectic for this company. Current assets as to current liabilities, looking a bit more hectic. And we're also getting our money back 40 days versus 45 days, five days later in 2023. That is not good. And we're also paying back creditors faster that that's crazy so we're taking longer to get our money back but we're paying money back faster yeah we're definitely gonna have some cash flow problems so guardian limited you definitely win this round so it's definitely guardian limited for those reasons and you literally just quote one two three four and you should be fine and say well it it increased it decreased increased decreased and you'll get all the marks that's what you should say in your comments Okay, use the words increase and decrease. It increased from 1,5 to 1,7. It increased from 1,0 to 1,2. It decreased from 2,5 to 0, 0,9. Say those words and you'll be good. Next, the financing strategies and gearing of Guardian Limited. So what were the causes of the change in the debt equity ratio? Provide two causes with figures specifically for the Guardian. So debt equity ratio, there were changes here, um, increases, very heavy increases. Firstly, in our loan, quite a massive increase in the loan. It went from 3.6 million to 5 million. We got a greater loan amount, our mortgage loan. Perhaps we're going to do a few things with it. It's increased our debt astronomically by 1,400,000. That's like roughly 38, 39%. And we also have an increase here in ordinary share capital, which is great as well. We sold more shares, we raised more money from 12 milli to 20 million 960,000. So mortgage loan increased by 1.4 million, ordinary share capital also increased by 8 million 960,000. Next, explain why it was wise for the company to make more use of loans. Uh, quote and explain one other financial indicator to support this opinion. So whenever we discuss loans, uh, we're always talking about gearing uh, our just general debt ratio, debt equity ratio and all that. But you can't just discuss the loan without factoring in ROT C E return on total capital employed. So if we just take a look at that. So the return on total capital employed, it actually increased from 13.5% to 16.6%. So it increased by 3.1% points. That is good. The company is positively geared as return, which is now 16.6, is greater than the borrowing rate, which is actually 14%. So in other words, we're always comparing return on total capital employed. We're always comparing that with the, sorry, with the interest rate on the loan. You must compare these two, tick, 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 tick. Return on total capital employed is always compared with the interest rate on the loan. We want our return on total capital employed to be greater than the interest rate on the loan. Why? We want our company to be positively geared because our loan is generating more profits. Okay, that is very, very important. Thanks for watching this little video. Um, there are more to come from the same question. I just wanted to break it up so it's not one long fat video and everyone falls asleep. Just small, quick, short, short videos. Okay, love you, bye.